Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share yet another update on my experience with the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 2014 edition. Now this tablet just got its third software update in less than a month of existence, which is really impressive considering, after all, that it is manufactured by Samsung, who quite frankly isn't known for speedy software updates. But the support, in my opinion, is a clear sign that Samsung knows exactly how much is riding on this best-in-class product. With that said, what does this November 1st dated build of Jelly Bean for the Note 10 2014 really represent? Well, first and foremost, we now have multiple user accounts. So whether you're looking to create accounts for everyone in the family or just make sure that your guests aren't accessing your email as well as browser, you now have that capability. Uh, a lot of questions about this and Samsung has decided to answer it by adding it as a feature, which quite frankly, it should have been there out of the box. Whether you're using um, a Sony tablet or a Nexus device, multiple user accounts are certainly not a new thing. So a good thing to see that Samsung has brought that into, again, a top-tier product, which also comes at a top-tier cost. Uh, beyond that, the other thing I've noticed is that perform performance overall is just a little bit faster. Um, I don't think that there's anything groundbreaking in this update, but they certainly have just tweaked it and further enhanced the overall experience. One thing I have noticed is that uh, the device does wake uh, more quickly. Uh, not a major improvement, but I know there were some complaints about the speed with which it would actually uh, wake up and that seems to have been resolved. Another thing I noticed is that uh, the animation for the screen unlock, that watercolor effect, is gone. It is no longer an option. If you actually dive into settings, it has been removed. So for whatever reason, Samsung, in their judgment, most likely uh, to do with complaints about lag or just hampering performance in general, has removed that animation. Kind of surprising. I would have thought that maybe they would you know, keep it on there but disable it automatically as part of the update. But that's not really a complaint, just another observation I wanted to share with everyone so that if you do uh, actually install this update and then are upset about missing it, you at least know why uh, it's no longer there. Uh, so in my opinion, uh, even though that's a loss, overall we do have an update that really improves the device, at least in initial early testing. So that's a good thing, and again, uh, credit to Samsung because... Uh, they did not need to be this aggressive, but now that they are in a role of leadership when it comes to the mobile market and smartphones and tablets, it really does make sense that they're going to support their products uh, in a way that's going to keep customers uh, happy, satisfied, and their products relevant in the future. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. And of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.